this is how we command results in destiny prayer becomes exciting when you are praying scripture when you are praying nonsense it will just frustrate you and you'll be clear that your prayer will not be answered take time to write scriptures don't just shout and god has helped people to put the scriptures for you at least two or three scriptures go to god in fasting go to god praying lock your door this church is not growing father you are the god of increase you are the god of increase i will multiply them they shall not be few i will glorify them they shall not be small that becomes your scripture oh they are not coming because the place is far it's a lie where was the ark of noah when the animals found their way to the ark the ark of noah was placed in one position and the animals left everywhere noah did not know where the animals were but there was an anointing that compelled them it's called an akazo it's a grace that compels it said go to the highway and the byways and compel them to come that my house may be full listen i hope you don't mistaken what we're doing for pride but let me tell you this if you don't live like this i assure you you'll be frustrated this thing is not magical this is how you walk your salvation with fear and trembling work out your salvation you are trusting god for a property beyond your savings let me just give this advice beyond your savings no matter how much money you have you can have the money and the owner will say i will not give you there are many things money cannot do psalm 44 and verse 3 somebody has received the revelation for his property this year psalm 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them someone just looks at you and says i'm working in the land office i just feel like including your name for an allocation and you will think it's one small land that looks like a kiosk you'll be given and you will never see the person again if you think you have to know those who help you save johnny did you hear what i said it takes a long time to know one person and yet you need many people cumulatively to help you so the bible says strangers shall feed your flock when you are praying for help it must come from both known and unknown people abraham did not know abimelech but in one night it was abimelech that caused abraham to prosper he wanted to take his wife and god said you touch that woman you are dead by the next day all the blessings of abraham was a peace offering for apology so you can meet with somebody who does not know you and say something is making me bless you tell the person you are right you don't know what i did in my room that something has a name Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes. I believe it. Believe this. One day you stand up and you are just walking in your room prophetically. Everywhere the soles of your feet treads upon. You are doing it in your room. Oh. Don't worry that the room is just a two by two or four by. Don't mind the devil. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Walking around by the Spirit. Sanaka Parako Siata. You come to do ministry in a city and they tell you there are forces that the ministry does not survive one, two, three years. Don't you know what to do? You don't confront forces on the pulpit. You confront forces in the secret place. The pulpit is a place for manifestation. Don't stand on the pulpit and that's when you are shouting at the spirits to hear you. It's too late. You deal with it in the secret place the controlling powers across this territory hear the word of the Lord the Bible says blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord if I come by myself I shouldn't be blessed but because I come in the name of the Lord is that not in your Bible I'm showing you the prayer of faith 
word compliant prayer that produces power the triumphant entry of jesus they said bless hosanna in the highest the triumphant entry is the testimony of anybody who comes in the name of the lord when you come in the name of the lord the proof that you come in the name of the lord is that there must eventually be a triumphant entry there was nothing that was used in that triumphant entry that was a personal property of jesus not the leaves not the men not the donkey he just came in the name of the lord and provisions followed to make sure that the entry was triumphant don't say i don't have money i don't have this i don't have that no the invisible things are the mothers of the visible things everything visible is a child the name of the mother that gave birth to it is the spirit realm the resources that you have are beyond the things that you see don't be deceived by the amount in your account whether you say it correctly or not you are still wrong if what you have is 10 million and you say i have 10 million you are still wrong do you believe this i'm sharing with someone you have compassed a level for a long time don't make it look like god is not faithful it's time to be angry listen whatever you tolerate has the license to remain did you hear what i said whatever you tolerate has the license to remain your laxity to press for change is the authorization for tragedies to remain the day you get dissatisfied lord i cannot remain like this everything that is alive grows where is my growth as proof that i'm alive biology and spirituality both agree that when a thing is alive it grows so if it is true that you are alive where is the growth that attests to the fact that you are alive that is why you must cause the spirit of delay i've taught you that the classic character of delay is that the only thing that grows in your life is your age once the spirit of delay is upon you nothing else grows only your age there is no justification of your days by the corresponding accomplishments i want you to be tired today while you are listening to me we came here to release our faith if it is not working don't keep quiet did you hear what i said if it is not working don't keep quiet say it after me if it is not working it says give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem now what does it mean to pray the prayer of faith number one what does it mean to pray the prayer of faith number one the prayer of faith is scripture based prayer write it down the prayer of faith is scripture based prayer why do we pray scripture based prayer numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent god is not a man that he should lie he is not the son of man that he should repent had he said it and shall he not do it had he spoken and shall he not make it good god is not a man number two i like this psalm 138 and verse 2 mm. psalm 138 and verse 2 psalm 132 8 verse 2 let's read together i will worship towards your holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth why for thou has magnified thy word above all thy names you have lifted and exalted your word that means when i pray word compliant scripture based prayer I have a guarantee by the spirit that god will not be tampered by any biases or emotions he's exalted and magnified his word even above his name scripture based prayer 
never pray and ask anything without presenting the scriptural basis that commits God father I'm bringing before you my rent what is the basis I will tell you the Bible says watch this if ye been evil he was speaking to fathers know how to give good gifts to your children now you come as a child and say Lord I am your child you are father the proof of fatherhood according to scripture is the ability to give are we together now yes oh I know that I was careless I went and did whatever it is I went to go and use the money for my rent to celebrate a birthday party now I am in trouble father your word says that your mercy triumphs over judgment it says your mercies are new every morning your judgments are not new every morning I come before you in repentance and sincerity I have been careless but I ask for your mercy for your namesake you are praying Bible based scripture based prayer your child returns from school and it looks like things are not working he's failing in the exams beating the child kicking the child getting angry getting frustrated and say God this is your child that's not how it works carry Psalm 112 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands god you said my seed shall be mighty this does not look like might this looks like shame or reproach i petition this child on account of the integrity of your word this is how believers pray this is prayer that produces results hallelujah are we blessed you are a pastor and you are leading people you are not seeing great people rise from your congregation go to god in prayer genesis 17 and verse 6 lord there is a covenant with you that greatness will come out of me genesis 17 and verse 6 media help us please he says and i will make thee exceeding fruitful and i will make nations of thee and things not shall come to thee shall come out of thee you carry that and do a three days retreat with it and you watch somebody will tell you i got a job with a multinational another person i established a business in six months has been global god is not honoring your word he's honoring his word that you have made your word listen this is the secret to mighty testimonies that you see i vowed before god that i will never raise a weak people and it's not because I'm Joshua Selman. This is one of the anchor scriptures. Hmm. Hallelujah. It looks like everybody is forgetting you. People are not remembering you. Go to God in prayer and cry. That night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And he said, this person has done this. What has been done to him? And they said, nothing. And a book of remembrance was open. You cry before God. And you say, I've been part of the testimony of many people. Lord, they have, forg they have forgotten me. He said, the keeper of Israel, he does not sleep, neither slumbers. Ah! And the wine press has said before Pharaoh, I remember my wrong this day. So it is wrong to forget those who help you. Did you hear what I said? It is a wrong that he remembered. I remember my wrong. That this person was the one praying with me. Now I, I got a job and for five years I have not even remembered him to say take for tea and bread. He didn't say I remember. I remember my wrong. It is wrong. Words is a battle of destiny. Please understand what I am telling you. It's a battle of destiny. Words are like drugs. The only thing is that they don't enter through your mouth. Once they enter your spirit, they can keep you poor. They can keep you less anointed. But when you embrace the engrafted word, it is able to make you. This is the place of encounter. This is the place of surrender. Do me what you want. This is the place where my flesh 
gives away to me what you want. This is the place where my life is changed. Do to me what you want. The disciples went into hiding because of something they heard. As soon as Jesus resurrected, he told Mary Magdalene, he said, run, go and tell them this new information. Jesus is alive, he's risen, the tomb is empty. As soon as she went to tell them, that information gave them energy. Listen, you are dying today physically because of something that entered your ears. Something else must enter you tonight as the spirit, something else. I am able, I am well able, I am well able. Twelve spies were sent. Ten of them came with something called an evil report. The Bible did not call it an honest report. It called it an evil. It was their perception they brought. And the Bible says, I don't care if it's not the word of God. It's an evil report. And Joshua and Caleb said, let's go up at once. He said, we are well able. They were the only two that entered the promised land. Listen, listen, you must make it a project to frustrate Satan in your life. You must make it a project to disallow. He is at the mercy of your understanding this truth. I write to you fathers because you have known. I write to you sons because although you do not know you have strength you can fight and experience can come out of your battle that when you now become fathers you can mentor other sons i write to you fathers young men because the word abides in you so when words come it's a battle of words and you fight in the spirit to preserve those words listen he said you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes. But what they received made them to speak. On the day of Pentecost, fire came on their head, but the reaction was speaking. They began to speak. From that speaking, 3,000 were saved. From that speaking, the church began to advance. Parusa la katusi Please hear me. Your destiny is bigger than your today. Man of God, this level of ministry is only the starting point. And let me tell you this. If you can hold on to that victory, the Bible calls the fight to protect God's information the victory that overcomes. The victory that overcomes. The victory that overcomes. The victory that overcomes. Overcomes. Lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit. Parusha barakatu. Embreketeke parusha shalakata. The victory that overcomes. The victory that overcomes. In the name of Jesus. The victory that overcomes. Even our faith. The victory that overcomes. Even our faith, the victory that overcomes. Even our faith, the victory that overcomes. Na poshele koto sobreke de varakatu. Ente prakatu shalakata. E proto shele paru sabi asalato. Prakata varakata banada varakata. Pray, be a speaking spirit tonight. Pray, ma posho sobreke de. Be a speaking spirit tonight. Is someone 
Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Hear me. Hear me. It was through the power of prayer a physical climate changed from a dry season to a rainy season. Any climate can change when we pray. Elijah prayed dry season to become rainy season. You are going to pray that every atmosphere and every climate that ministers death, that ministers discouragement, that in the name of Jesus, both the information and the atmosphere live my life. Speak to it. Speak to your childhood. Speak to your limitations. I come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the armies of heaven. Corinthians 14 verse 10 read with me one to read there are as it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification that means no voice at all is just a social voice no voice at all is just a technology voice no every voice is programming your destiny whether it is the voice of a mentor the voice of the word of god the voice of culture the voice of your childhood the voice of your family you are going to pray the bible says bringing down every stronghold and every thought to the obedience of Christ. Lift your voice and tear down some words and information. <laughs> Hola 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed seeds and went his way. But the Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my Father, in the realm of your spirit and in the realm of your mind, you are going to uproot and tear down by faith. Lift your voice and declare, I uproot every speaking, I uproot every foundation, I uproot every conception, I uproot communication that is not possible with the character, every communication that is not consistent with my goal, with my destiny, with my company. I call against it in the name of Jesus. Did someone pray tonight? Hallelujah. Please look up while still praying. It's a strong anointing here. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. But we need to know how we resist the devil in this kingdom. Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Please give it to us quickly. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Resist the devil. Matthew, help us media. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. This is how Jesus rebuked and resisted the devil. Then said Jesus to him, Get thee then, Satan, for it is written. That is the basis. It is written. Not I think, not I wish, it is written. The victory that overcomes is a victory that is written written the logos get the tense poverty for it is written get the tense limitation for it is written lift your voice and declare satan away from my destiny away from my life and it is written Get 
taught us a very deep mystery in chapter 3 please give it to us we are praying chapter 3 and verse 10 Joel Joel 3 and verse 10 beat your plowshares into swords in other words it's time for the fight of faith and your pruning forks into spears this is not just a time for harvest it's a time for warfare and then he says in that warfare let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich let the redeemed of the lord say so you are about to say so now this is strategy everything the bible says you are everything the word of god says you are you are about to say it now lift your voice and begin to prophesy I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. If someone prays, I am anointed. The ministry is flourishing by the Spirit. My home is flourishing by the power of the Holy Ghost. My finances is flourishing by the Spirit of the Christ. I go from glory to glory. I go from grace to grace. that this is our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. You are going to pray and prophesy. It must be as he said. It must be as he said. Over every area of my life. Lift your voice now and begin to pray. It must be as he said. Thank <laughs> you. 
chapter 5, verse 19. Job chapter 5, verse 19. We'll read 19 and 20. Job chapter 5. Job chapter 5. Are we there? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Verse 20. In famine. This is the first kind of trouble that comes upon men in the earth. Famine. He shall redeem thee from death. In war. He shall redeem thee from the power of the sword. 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Listen, this is a mystery that one day God will grant me the grace to teach in this place. The word league is covenant. That you will be in, in a covenant with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. Listen, he said in six troubles, yes, seven, he shall deliver you. You are about to pray these prayers. In famine, in war, the speakings and the tongues of men, Lord, arise by the Spirit. And let my life see your salvation. Let my life see your salvation. Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Arusha la 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 done for the night listen to me you're going to cry to God and ask the Holy Spirit to be the administrator of your atmosphere listen it's a powerful prayer he is called the Lord of hosts the Lord of hosts the protector of your atmosphere that your mind will always remain at the presence. Samuel heard the voice of God because he was lying down close to the ark. You are going to pray, Spirit of the Lord, you were sent to guide me into all truth. Guide me into the truth formation that will build faith in me for the days that come. Lift your voice and begin. Please lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Of the wisdom of God. Of the living God. 
in the realm of the spirit is predicated upon your declaring declaring what what is written listen the word of god that is allocated for every area of your life to produce victory you're not going to spare you will speak listen listen i told you that words carry energy they carry presence they create imagery they connect your emotions to those images and then they make for creation. This is the technology of information. You are going to pray over anything in your life that must change in this season. That must change. You are going to enforce the word of God with power and grace. I like you to lift your ma- your voice. Mention the area that must change. Place a demand. Don't let the devil speak things to your ears. Is it your finances? Is it your family? Is it your spiritual life? Listen to me. You can create a new effect. You can create a new atmosphere. You can create a new feeling. You can win. The word of God abides in you. Open your mouth and declare, declare, declare. The word of the Lord. In the glory and the power, I see miracles, signs and wonders. In the glory and the power. I'm a sign and wonder.
Listen to me. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? Hold on. Hold on. You are going to pray. Lord, change my perception about life, my perception about God, my perception about my circumstances, my perception about Satan. Do a miracle to my sight. Lift your voice and pray. Do a miracle. Change my perception. Every image. Every emotional connection to every image that is birthing pain, that is birthing impossibility, that is allowing darkness to reign over my life, change my perception. Koinonia pray a miracle of the seen eyes. Change my perception. The Bible says, For we know that all things work together for good to them who love God and who are the called according to His purpose. Lift your voice and pray. Change my perception. Change my financial perception. My spiritual perception. My career perception. My sociological perception. My emotional perception. Let my perception be lined up to and with the world. Let my perception be lined up to and with the world. Change my perception in the name of Jesus. Change my perception. My perception of ministry. My perception of life. My perception of my family. My perception of increase. My perception of your Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have the last prayer point for tonight. Listen. The victory of the believer is in staying and hearing and seeing the word of God. But we all with unveiled face beholding us in a mirror we are changed into the same image not another you will become the reality of the information that enters your life you will become witness when you hear witness you will become witness when you hear witness you will become strength when you hear strength listen to me you will become powerful when you hear power you will become full of faith when you hear faith. You will become a man of speed when you hear words of speed. You will become revived when you hear words of revival. You will become a man of fire when you hear words of fire. Listen, your thinking makes your belief system and it translates into who you are. You have an assignment to from today and forever protect yourself protect yourself protect yourself from the influence the arsenals of culture the arsenals of satan the arsenals of past your past the arsenals of your weakness career whatever it is make up your mind that you sustain the stamina to stay on that which is written for the bible says listen to me that heaven and earth will pass away 
but this word abides forever the bible says he upholds all things not by ideas by the word of his power so no matter what you are going through in your life you are not defeated if what is written is still in your mouth joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 i'm rounding up this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall thou make your way prosperous and thou shall have good success last prayer lord jesus magnify your word and the voice of the holy spirit above every other voice and influence in my life lift your voice and pray magnify magnify if someone pray magnify your word above my circumstances magnify your word above my limitations magnify your word above ministry magnify your word if someone pray lord i want to see your word exalted she lifted high, she lifted high, oh Lord, she lifted high, for you are holy, righteous and class of degree you finish it oh lord believe lift that above every worry that plagues you down oh lord believe it is within the power of god to lift a man it is within the power of God to take weak men and set them as kings and princes. It is within the power of God to prosper a man. Please listen to what I tell you. It is within the power of God to keep a man. It is within the power of God to bring deliverance and to bring salvation. It is within the power of God to give you a new name that the mouth of the Lord himself will call. Lifted. Exalted. That when you stand through life, anything that is not the word of God, 
you have an assignment to fight that fight. It's not a weak fight, it's a great fight. Until that which is written becomes your experience. Until everything that you see is Jesus. Until everything that you see is His grace, His life, His power, His wisdom. Until everything you see is that what you saw in your dreams and your vision now becomes your experience. You continue to set your case on Jesus until you see that anointed version of you that you saw in your dream. No matter what you see in your life, don't let men clap you to your grave. If it has not become what you saw, keep pressing. Lord, I thank you, but I keep seeing. We are able to go out and take the country To possess the land from Jordan to the sea Though the giants may be on our way to hinder God will surely give us peace We are the generation that is well able regardless of your background you are well able it may not look like it until the word of God gains ascendance your assignment is to believe his report and to stay there apostle but you do not understand I didn't get admission apostle as I am right now I don't even know where the next meal will come from Apostle, I've prayed and fasted for the anointing, for things to move in my life. It doesn't matter what it is. My brothers hear me. My sisters hear me. You are only victorious when you stand on God's side. Stand. Continue to exalt His word. Lift it above. Once it stands above, you will see what that word will do. It will become not only an anchor, it will become a cover. It will become the basis for your victory. Hear me. Even the hand of God wrote twice. That means whatever was written can be rewritten. Did you hear what I said? The hand of God wrote once and wrote again for Moses. Isaiah, go back to Hezekiah. Tell him I have changed my mind. Hezekiah, there is no death for you again. Please pay the price to know God. Pay the price to know God. Hezekiah! He will continue to be king. I have shifted the song to prove to you that I have rewritten. Esther meets the king and says, write again. O king, it was her man that deceived you to write. You wrote death. It is within your power to write life again. And the king said, bring me the paper. And he wrote and stamped it. Hear me? No matter what has been written over your life, I stand by the word of God. Listen to me. In this kingdom, please hear me. There is a heavy anointing on me. I want to pray for you. Listen. It says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I want to write something in your life by the Spirit. It is true that what was written can be rewritten. Please, you don't have to kneel. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. It is true that the ordinances and the appointments of death, the appointments of failure, it is true that the expectations of wicked people waiting, believing that your family will not amount to anything, that your life will go down. Tonight I stand by the Spirit, indicting a good matter. He said, yeah, I speak of excellent things. And he says, my tongue is a pen of a ready writer. I stand by the God of heaven who calls men by his grace. I declare whatever was written that is an appointment unto death. I change it and I speak life to you now. Hear me. 
if Esther did not come to Mordecai, it was not only, if Esther did not come to the king, it was not only her man. Hear me, look at me, let me teach you a mystery. If her man died and Israel died, God lost. The verdict that was in the presence of the king was not just for her man, it was also for Israel. And Esther came and said, King, write again. The verdict that plagues families and plagues individuals, hear me, it is not only for your grandfather alone. Hi, beloved, God bless you. Welcome to the month of May. Thank you for staying connected with us all through this month of January, February, March, and even in April. This is May, where the counsel of the Lord comes to pass upon your life. You've been a wonderful partaker of this very work. The Bible is speaking and it said, Blessed are the feet, how beautiful are they that bring good tidings upon the mountains. Thank you for also being a partaker to this vision by sharing these videos to loved ones, family, and friends. We trust that in this month of May, God will make himself manifest in your life even as you continue to stay tuned with us on this platform Reflector Hub TV and with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. Do well to ensure that you stay connected. Keep sharing this video, stay tuned with us and even as we trust to see that the Lord's blessing and mighty hand of help rest upon your family, rest upon your life, upon your finances, your relationship, your ministry, your business and everything you lay your hands to do and everything that concerns you. Do share this video even as you watch. Get blessed. Claim and receive the blessing prophetically that is meant for your life, meant for your destiny, meant for the transformation and the revival of your heart, soul and spirit. Saying that your heart is transformed, your life is blessed, your spirit is fired up into fulfilling the fullness of the measure of God in your life. Thank you as you keep watching. God bless you.